Hi everyone, this is Dave the Prayer Guy. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thank you also for watching the previous ones. So today I want to talk about a challenge that my pastor had given us, uh, those who have been attending the church here in Old Town, one of the local assemblies, and that is to read a chapter a day from the New Testament. And I decided to go with the book of Acts because the book of Acts is of all the books in the Bible, it's the one, it is very unique in the sense that it's the only one that gives the history of the early church. I mean, you have the four Gospels that are all about the life and ministry of Jesus, and then you have this one book, this one historical book about the start of the church and really how the Holy Spirit encourages us and empowers us to, to engage in gospel activity, to engage in the mission of God. And, and so what I thought what I would do is any time that I read something from Acts that I'm like, ah, I should share that on my vlog because it's about this idea of mission of prayer, then I'm going to go ahead and do that. And Acts chapter 1 has two things in it that I think is significant to share and, and as we're thinking about prayer and, and especially missionally. And the first one is, deals with verse 8 of chapter 1, you know, the famous verse uh, where right before Jesus ascends into heaven, he says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all of Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So a couple different ways you can look at that verse in our modern day context. Um, one way you can look at it is, you know, I live here in Old Town, Maine, compared to Jerusalem, I'm definitely in the ends of the earth, so I'm not exempt from this thought of being a witness. I also, but I tend to lean towards more of looking at it as an analogy compared to my own situation. You know, I start my witnessing in Old Town, then I go to the surrounding communities, and then to Maine, and then to the ends of the earth. Either way, it doesn't really exempt us from uh, participating in God's mission. We are supposed to be about it. And this is really the heart of missional prayer, to be praying about how can we be a witness? What is the best way that we can reach out to those that God has put in our lives? Is there any praying for, is there anybody in particular that God wants us to be witnessing for? And when is it time to kind of move from one place to the other? You know, I remember I remember once thinking that when I was living in, in a southern Maine town called Sanford, that um, that's where I'm going to spend the rest of my, my life. Uh, but, you know, God must be chuckling because about seven years from that point, seven to eight years from that point, God convinced me I should move to Old Town. And so I don't know if I'm going to spend the rest of my life here in Old Town. I might end up moving someplace else. Uh, but it's all going to be based on prayer. It's all going to be based on the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. The other thing about Acts 1 that I think it's very important to realize is that after Jesus ascended, they go into Jerusalem and they wait for the coming of the Holy Spirit. And as they waiting, they pray. And, and it's 10 days later, Pentecost, um, 10 days after the ascension, after Jesus um, rose, uh, ascended into heaven. Remember, he rose from the dead, appeared to people for 40 days, and then, um, and then ascended. And then 10 days later, the Holy Spirit comes. And that is, and so really, and in some ways that, that, that 10 days of prayer that happened kind of birthed in some ways the church. I mean, God was planning to bring in his Holy Spirit regardless if we prayed. But I think the prayer is really what motivated the, the early church to realize and recognize what the Holy Spirit was going to look like when it came down like tongues of fire when you read Acts chapter 2. Uh, the ten, that 10 days of prayer was very important. And so when I think about events that your church is doing that's reaching out in the community and the church and the events that my church is doing, you know, how well are we really spending time in prayer? Now, we don't necessarily need to be like, oh, we're going to spend 10 days in prayer um, before every event. I mean, we could. There's no, there would be nothing wrong with that. But we really need to consciously think about how we're going to reach out to others in prayer. So that's what I have for you today. Um, continue to pray, pray missionally for God's kingdom to be advanced. Um, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and as always, may the Lord be with you.